How's it going, tiny little hot dog cuties? Today we're going to be talking about hormone injections. More specifically, intramuscular hormone injections. Although anyone doing any sort of intramuscular injections can greatly benefit from this video. Now before we get started with this week's video, I know I haven't been posting for a while and I just want to tell you guys that I missed you guys so so much but I had to focus on my academics for the last couple of weeks because as you have known, I was struggling. I was struggling a little bit in this new block in medical school but never fear if all I had to do was focus on my schoolwork for a couple of weeks and I am back to being a a Okay, medical school is hard, medical school requires a lot of adjusting, so if I happen to disappear every now and then, you guys know why. But I'll always be coming back to to give you guys quality content, and, is, and if you guys don't already know, my voice has definitely, definitely gotten deeper since the last video I made. I am getting more facial hair. If you guys watch my Instagram, I give daily updates on my life. So always, always, if you want more of me, be free to check out my Twitter and Instagram. So, the reason why I technically wanted to make this a video is because lately I've been checking out um, female to male reddits, little forums, I've even been checking out other people's YouTube videos, and for the most part, a lot of them give very, very sound advice about transitioning and about medically transitioning. However, Almost all of them aren't medical professionals, so every now and then I occur, I happen to, I happen to come upon a video that gives not the correct information on how you should be doing hormone injections. And I want to preface this as well by saying I personally am not a medical professional. Even though I am a medical student, I have no source of licensing or any right to give you med personal medical advice. I'm only sharing common medical knowledge that's out there in literature and that's out there in the industry of medicine. So don't sue me if... Um, you know, you want to sue me for some reason. You are held liable for all actions that you do. I have no liability because I'm just sharing common medical knowledge. So, with that disclaimer out of the way, let's let's talk about it. Let's talk about my biggest concern. Because I actually have a couple of concerns, but we're going to address the biggest concern I have currently about people spreading information about hormone injections out there. So, as I said, for the most part, people actually do spread correct information out there from other YouTubers and even the online forums. But every now and then, I come across some content that's talking about, you know, they're doing their like weekly or bi-weekly injections and it's going all great. And they mention one thing and it's that they're injecting their butt or they're, they're saying like one of the spots that I inject at is my butts because you should be rotating your injection sites and that is grossly grossly misleading so I want to let you guys know that injecting your butt was common a couple of decades ago when there was less research on intramuscular injection placements now I haven't done full extensive research on this but current medical school curriculum advises greatly because I am currently going through medical school, advises greatly on not encouraging people to do butt injections. And the reason why is that there are two very, very, very important nerves that actually run, run through your gluteus maximus muscle and the two other butt muscles that are important, the gluteus medius and the gluteus minimus. And I'll be giving you guys little pictures on the sidelines so you guys can have like a graphical image of seeing where you actually shouldn't be injecting. So the first nerve of concern is the sciatic nerve. It's a giant nerve that passes through your butt and runs all the way down to the base of your foot. And actually this nerve is so, so important that it innervates. Innervates meaning that it allows the muscles to move every single muscle in the back side of your leg. So, not every single one, I'm just doing it for like layman's purposes, but it, it innervates a huge chunk of all the muscles in the back side of your leg. And if you hit that nerve and 
damage it, you will forever have problems with walking, with getting up from your table, table, who's ever <laughs> sitting on a table, <laughs> from getting up from your chair, from even going up the stairs. So it's very, very important for you to not hit that sciatic nerve. And because it's such a huge nerve, the opportunity for someone to actually hit that nerve while injecting their butt and you personally wouldn't be able to reach that far down in your butt anyways. You're probably using having someone else, like a caretaker, uh, significant other, or maybe even your mother do those injections. Don't tell them to inject you there because it's not going to look good if they ever hit that sciatic nerve. So you may be wondering now at this point, well, Ben, if I can't inject my butt, I'm going to be resorted to using my thighs only for injections. And I like having a couple of more sites for me to inject into because I personally rotate four sites and I do weekly injections so what each site will technically get an inje injection once a month which for me is ideal because I don't want to be injecting the same place over and over again too frequently so that the uh, the possibility of scar tissue building up is kind of lessened over time because I'm gonna be injecting for years if not decades in my life so there is there is a safe place near your booty that you can inject to and it's called the antero the superior not antero the superior lateral direction now you guys probably if you're not into medicine or into any sort of math or geometry have no idea what i just said the superior lateral position basically means that you will be injecting into the lateral side of your butt which is Technically, in layman's terms, your hip. Now, I'll give a diagram up there to show you guys where that region is. However, if you are going to inject there, I highly, highly recommend that you talk to your doctor. Go to your doctor's office and ask them where that region is. They can actually point it out to you in your own body because everybody's body is a little bit different. So... If you have been injecting your butt and you don't want to inject there anymore, wait till your next appointment and ask them where the superior lateral position in your butt is. And some of you guys will be like, well, Ben, my doctor said it's perfectly fine for me to inject into my butt. However, I will say that sometimes doctors are so, so into their own jargon is that when they say butt they kind of mean the superior lateral position they always take into account the things that they have learned in medical school but they tend to forget that layman's don't actually know all the details about what it means to safely inject into your butt and some of you guys will have probably not gotten that much information about injections your doctor just said to inject where there's a lot of muscle and a lot of fat so it's safe for you to inject there, but they haven't taken into account that other people have other loved ones inject for them because they, the doctor will take, will take into account that you can't reach all the way back there really to inject yourself, but they forget that a lot of caretakers actually help you do the injection and they can reach that area. So it's a really good idea if your doctor is suggesting you to inject into their bed just to go into their office and just be open and honest it's like hey i've learned on the internet that the newer medical standards is to recommend to not inject your butt and if they're if they're aware of it aware of it or they've forgotten they can look it up and they can correct themselves for you in the future and for future patients of course doctors aren't robots they sometimes it's it's easy to forget but it's always always super important to help hold them responsible. So anyways guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope if you do take intramuscular injections, you can finally see why you shouldn't be injecting into your butt if you are doing it. Or if you aren't doing it and you're curious, you're more aware of why that's not a common thing for you to inject into your butt. And also, if you don't do intramuscular injections at all, I hope this video helped you understand a really cool medical knowledge out there that's kind of universal right now and I love you guys so much please be sure to follow me on Instagram on Twitter to keep up with my daily life I do daily updates on my Instagram and Twitter 
So if I'm not doing edited videos, I'm going to be doing raw unedited, unedited content there. I cannot wait to do next week's video if you guys have any suggestions if you want to, if you want me to talk about anything in particular regarding medical school regarding life regarding transitioning be sure to comment down below and i'll see you on the next one this is ben